This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Harry Bennett with me. You are the local chair for the International Plowing Match 2022 happening in North Granville. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this, because I know you're busy right now. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Glad to do it. All right, so let's talk about the international plowing match. I know we only have about 10 minutes, and there's so much to take in, but what would you want people to know about your event? Uh, I think I'd want people to know that it's, uh, it's a big event. It's, uh, it's a showcase of, of agriculture and rural living. Uh, it's a social event with lots of entertainment. Uh, we have a rodeo. We have the Canadian Cowgirls. We have, I think, around 40 different uh, entertainment acts. Uh, both intended city and the RV park, uh, so it's it's a uh, it's the biggest event that North Grenville will ever see. That's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely, and it is occurring from September twentieth to the twenty fourth. And the location, it, people are, are familiar with what we used to call the old Kempville College. It's out there that way. Yeah, it's on the uh, the intended city is on the uh, the west side of County Road forty four, on the Kempville campus. Uh, the parking will be across the road on what we call the farm side, so over where the farm buildings are, uh, the former Kempfell College, <coughs> excuse me, and the RV park is, uh, is on the fields that are west of the, of the college buildings. Um, how would I describe that? I guess probably near uh, a subdivision called Victoria Park Village. Okay, okay. Now, can we talk about Tent City in itself? How big is Tent City going to be? Tenant City is going to be acreage wise, it's going to be probably about 65 acres. Um, there's going to be, I'm going to say somewhere in the range of 65 to 70 tents. Uh, there's, you know, probably half of them up now. Uh, Tenant City also has full hydro and water, uh, which, is a, which is quite a logistical undertaking as does the RV park. It has uh, full hydro and water as well. Um, so there's been we've been working on this now intended city uh, putting in water and and Ontario Hydro or Hydro One I should say has been has been installing hydro and that's been going on now for oh boy over a month and it's it's progressing well. It's going well. That's good. That's yeah. good because it is a huge huge undertaking. Just that that part of the match itself. And the expo, yep. it's, it's huge. It's just huge. Yep, that's and, great. and you've got so much going on that week too. I mean, you got the Canadian cowgirls, like you say, the precision drill team are going to be there, uh, a Ram rodeo, the Canadian forces Skyhawks, their parachute demonstration. That's going to happen yep. too. Yep, that's on the Wednesday. That's on Wednesday. Oh my God, you must have this all uh, uh, memorized. I printed off your uh, your schedule and your agenda for the week, and, and honest to goodness, it's like at least ten pages double sided. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots going on. There's there's lots uh, lots of opportunity for people to, you know, to visit vendors, um, enjoy the entertainment, um, you know, watch the skydiving, watch the the rodeo, etc. And and uh, we're hoping we're uh, we're hopeful that a lot of people come out, and hopefully our weather is good. Yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. But you've also got plowing competitions. You got Queen of the Furrow competitions, celebrity guests. You've got a lounge tent. There's so much entertainment going on. And it's a full day every day. Yes, every day from 8.30 to 5. Now, how did you get involved with this? Uh, I got involved, interestingly enough, some people from Grenville Plowman's Association. Um, it would have been, I'm trying to think now, would have been probably uh, February, must have been February of 2019. Yeah, February of 2019, I got a text and I was actually uh, on the beach in Mexico and uh, I got a text from some of the Grenville Plowmen's Association and said, the plowing match is coming to North Grenville. Would you be interested in helping? And I, you know, I decided prior to that that I would help because I've always been involved in uh, volunteering for agricultural events in Grenville. And uh, so I said, yeah, I'd be interested in helping. And then uh, I said, I'm on holidays. I'll be back in a few days. And I got back a few days later and got talking to them. And they said, well, would you be interested in being the chair? And I said, oh. Well, that's a big job. So I thought about it a little bit, and I thought, uh, for me anyway, it's a chance of a lifetime. Um, so I, I took the opportunity. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I have a really good board of directors that I'm working with. They're all very, uh, very helpful, very knowledgeable, and we're working with the Ontario Plowmen's Association, which is kind of our parent organization, and, and they're, uh, they've been very helpful and very supportive, and 
and the municipality of North Granville has been extremely supportive. So uh, everything is going good. Oh my goodness, yes, the, the municipality is so looking forward to this too. And I mean, they're they're as equally as excited as, as you are for sure for this yeah. to be happening in yeah. their area for sure. Now talk about volunteers though, because you, you still need some volunteers. You, you need we would, so many. We would still take volunteers. Uh, certainly we wouldn't turn down volunteers. We're, I, I'm going to say we're sitting probably around 900 volunteers now oh. if we include uh, the service clubs, but uh, many hands make light work, so we would certainly take more volunteers if people are interested. And I think it, it, as people see this grow, and, and, and like you say, this is something you could be involved in, it with. It's, it's part of agricultural history that yes. uh, you could be involved with, and it, it, it's such a huge undertaking, but to be to say you know, in years to come, yeah, I, I was involved with the IPM in, in Kempfel. Yeah, that's right. And I was I was part of the reason that that I got involved. And then, of course, with it being on the on the former college campus, I was a student uh, here 40 plus years ago. So it's uh, it's kind of nice to, you know, a bit of sentimental value, I guess you'd say. So I'm absolutely. looking forward to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, there, there's an area for people to come if they've got their own uh, tents or RVs. They want to stay overnight. Is that all filled up by now? Uh, I don't think so, Kathy. I think we're we have 600 service spaces or service lots in the RV park. I think we're sitting at slightly over 500 booked now, so there's still some room. Uh, if we get booked up to the 600, we can expand it and, and put power and water to a few more sites and if need be. But no, that's going very well. Wow. I, I'm so looking forward to attending because, I mean, you talk 65 acres and then the, then you've got that area and it's just huge. And then you've got where the plowing is going to be going on. It just, uh, it's going to be huge. I, I, it, to be able to see it, that in itself is going to be a historical moment. Yeah, the RV park area is probably, I'm going to say probably 100 acres. And then the plowing fields, uh, which are... Uh, on County Road 43 between Kempfel and Merrickville near Ackman's Corners, there's uh, one large field there, or well, more than that, there's three large fields that we're using that belong to uh, uh, Charles and Rosemary Bennett and their family. And uh, there is about 250 acres approximately there that we are using for tractor parking, you know, exhibitor or um, uh, spectator parking and plowing as well. So, all right, it's, all right. Uh, yeah, that's a big event. So to, to show up, uh, to get tickets, how do people do that? Uh, they can buy tickets online. I think today is the last day for the discounted tickets online, uh, you could, which are $20. Uh, you can buy tickets at the gate, which are 25 and that gets you into uh, the Tented City and all the entertainment and all the events that are going on in Tented City. Uh, just as a special mention for country music fans, uh, we have the Hunter Brothers on Saturday. So that's kind of the, the big headline act, I guess I'd say. And uh, we have lots of local entertainment throughout the week. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to it. All right. And just to clarify, we are taping this show on September 6th. So today's your last day to be able to get the discounted prices. So that, after that, September 6th, it's going to be $25 at the gate yeah, too. And I'm correct. so pleased to, to see too that you've got accessible parking and, and uh, entrance for people yeah. with any disabilities or, or need that little extra help to get get around you've got that yes uh, we, have, uh, we have accessible parking and we have uh, wagons uh, that are uh, lower to the ground and and that people can get on with uh, wheelchairs or if they have mobility issues easier for them to get on uh, so those accessible wagons will take people from accessible parking to uh, I believe it's gate three and if they uh, need to rent mobility scooters uh, they have mobility scooters there to rent to get around the grounds wow. they have to they have to uh, do that ahead of time or, or speak for, mil for the mobility scooters ahead of time. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's wonderful. So look for, looking forward to this. Uh, again, the dates are September 20th to the 24th, and uh, it's happening in North Grenville. Uh, you can show up now at the gate and get your ticket, and it's $25. It's a day to remember, if, especially if you're uh, interested in agriculture, but even if you're not you will be amazed at what North Granville is putting on for our IPM 2022 this year. I'm so glad you were able to take some time and talk to us today about the, the IPM and uh, good luck with everything. Let's pray for good weather and uh, no matter what, it's gonna be a success. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Harry Bennett, the local chair of our IPM 2022. Thanks for joining us, Harry.